Hey, good morning, Kern County. I'm Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk, and this is your Monday morning update for what you can expect not only today on this first day of spring, but the rest of the week. We're heading into an active pattern after several days of being completely calm. You can see, for the most part, on those live cameras, it's still pretty calm out there, but that is changing. We're seeing increasing cloud cover ahead of this powerful system here just offshore. See how it's pushing a little bit of rain into Northern California? Still several more hours before we see that rain coming down to our area, but we will see increasing clouds. So there goes the sunshine. With this increasing cloud cover though, there's also a fresh westerly breeze. So hello, cooler temperatures. Now when I say cooler, I say down out of those 80s that we had this weekend. Not quite the 60s just yet though. Those were around the corner. See the wind speeds, 13 miles an hour in Bakersfield right now down in Rosamond near that area of yellow that's 17 miles an hour that is fresh air pushing on shore improving our air quality back in the moderate range just a few points away from being in the good range and also providing that cooling now most of it as you can see is concentrated over the grapevine area and that's because the winds are a little faster over the peak pretty calm and quiet same temperature we had at this time yesterday but we're not going to be climbing up very much more lower 60s in bakersfield and lamont at this hour 63 in tatchby down into our desert cities look at ridgecrest already 72. all right so let's charge ahead this afternoon not getting to those 80s but still well above our average of 69 you see how it's in the 70s here on the valley floor we love that i'm sharing the 70s with those of you up in the the Kern River Valley from Tatchby to Bear Valley and Fraser Park. You see those lower to mid 60s, 59 in Pine Mountain Club. That feels a bit cooler for you. Down into the desert, Ridgecrest, so stubborn. Still holding on to those 80s, but don't worry. Everybody else in the 70s, we're all cooling down tomorrow. And that's because a cloud front, a cold front, excuse me, is bringing those clouds tonight and then pushing all of that rain on shore. Now here we are at sunset this evening. So you see overnight tonight, the rain is arriving. It starts pushing into Kern County tomorrow about 4 a.m., mainly for Lost Hills and down into Tatchby and then as it pushes in to the valley see how it's sunrise there's a little bit over lost hills but we still kind of have that bubble of dry air over bakersfield that's our rain shadow as we overcome that there's less evaporation and boom rain for everybody a light rain but looking good about 9 a.m and then carrying on into your lunch hour in the afternoon it is just spotty showers now with that whenever we see cells like this that could trigger a couple isolated thunderstorms while we are concerned about thunderstorm chances on tuesday check out what, what's happening on wednesday that what you saw on tuesday was just the cold front now on wednesday we're dealing with the heart of the system look down toward los angeles how much action there is there this is the cold core low moving on shore as it does it's very unstable so with that we've been talking about this storm for the last week wednesday being the most active day indeed we are still on track for that midday here we are at noon through the afternoon hours see how much rain we have to tap into so much instability there could be some thunderstorms in there for wednesday night and then we continue to see rain throughout the evening heading into thursday Thursday will slowly clear out. So when I hear thunderstorms, what does that mean for you? You can see that means heavy rain at times on Tuesday for the state, but then those throng, strong thunderstorms on Wednesday bring hail, heavy rain, and lightning, dangerous cloud to ground lightning. We'll also have gusty winds, not just with the front on Tuesday, but also where thunderstorms collapse on Wednesday. So be weather aware, download our 23 ABC Storm Shield app. They'll send you those alerts as they happen if you need to head inside were there to be something turning severe. Now that means some rain on Tuesday due to the front, some thunderstorms on Wednesday due to the cold core of the low, basically the heart of the storm. Thursday, puffy clouds. Friday, beautiful, back in those 70s. Oh, but then on Saturday, that's another storm system. That one's behaving more like what we're seeing on Tuesday, a traditional cold front for this time of year. There could be some scattered thunderstorms there, but I don't think it's as active or with a chance of severity like we have on Wednesday. Now looking ahead to Sunday, you see puffy clouds still in those 60s. A little hint for you beyond this forecast, we might have another chance of rain next Monday. So Kern River Valley, you have the 70s today, 60s Tuesday and Wednesday with those rain chances, 59 is your coolest day on Thursday. Rain again on Saturday. Mountains of Tatchby and Fraser Park. Here's what's interesting. 65 today, down by Thursday to just 51. See how those overnight lows are in those lower 30s? Yes, that is close to freezing. We could be talking about some snow flurries, some snow at the highest elevations. I don't think we're talking about accumulating snow at past level, though, because these systems are just a little too warm. So we're talking about thunderstorms. And also, by the time we get that cold, it's post-frontal, and most of the precipitation is gone. So as you're taking pictures and videos, of this please only do so if you could do it safely i don't want you out standing in the lightning trying to get me a video or a photo i'm not going to share it online if you captured it unsafely just stay inside take pictures and video from behind a safe window send those to me on facebook twitter and instagram and please find me on facebook let me know if you have any questions about the timing or severity of this storm we'll see you on 23 abc news at 11.